welcome to Agent Republic. I'm Suzanne and this is Claudio and we're going to be talking about... Super Achievers. And Susie, I've got to tell you, I mean, we just had Eric about a month ago now and one of the great things, you're a wonderful speaker, 2016 Eric, as a platform speaker. <laughs> but the good thing is I started to, you know, understand about some of the guys that were like writing the big dollars. Mm. And four themes came out for me. Yep. Um, and I don't know if these resonate with you or not, but yeah. like the first theme that I really got to understand from these guys is they all understood their why. Most you know, definitely. Like really getting to know their why. Like if someone was out there, I always get clients saying to me, Claudio, I don't know how to discover my why. Can you yeah. tell us a bit about how can you discover your why? Because I found a lot of clients sometimes struggle to find their why. Yeah, most definitely. And I think the why is really popular at the moment. And you know, I think the big thing is number one, giving yourself time to find the why because we think it's just some ticker box exercise and you can't do it like that. You know, some of my guys, it takes them a month, six months to find their why. So the tips that I always say to them is, what are you really passionate about? Write down all the things that you're passionate about. Yeah. Another one would be the so what. So I always say to them, look, you're wanting to achieve something, so what? Yeah. So that I can provide for my family. Okay, so what? So they can have a really happy life. Ah, okay, cool. Now we're starting to get into some of the emotions. And then the third one is around finding your why, is find times when you are naturally passionate. So if you've had a really great day and you're feeling really like excited or passionate, that's when it's important to say, okay, well, why am I feeling like this? What did I do today that really has ignited my passion? Yeah. Because that's where your why is. And the why is about knowing yourself. The more you get to know yourself, the better your why is going to be and the better it is to find your why. Susie, well said. I mean, I can't agree with you more. I mean, <laughs> most people think, their why is, you know, the, the Ferrari or the holiday and everything Definitely. else. Definitely. And I think, you know, there's something within us that our why power drives us yep. every day. Willpower will get you so far, but why power just moves mountains. Most definitely. And the other thing too with your why, your why has to include other people. So yes, Ferraris and toys and all that stuff is really cool, but ultimately you want a why that actually goes out and helps somebody because that's really, that's the thing that gives us the juice and the passion. Contribution. Yep. Love it. Yeah. Second theme I found from Eric this year from some of the super achievers was set of standards. Like yes. these guys, I call them like, yes. they're the 5% of rare air. Like, you know, if you, yep. if you look at a bell curve, 95% of agents are here. And then you've got this 5% of yep. guys that have got a set of standards around every part of their business from the way they do their open home callbacks. I noticed, yes. you know, um, each day is like some of them are doing 50, 100 calls a day, but the set of standards are high. I mean, what do you see about like the set of standards with some of these high achievers? Well, I think it really starts with yourself. You've got to set a standard in yourself. Yep. So it's not only just about what you're doing, but who are you in the day? How are you showing up? Because the difference with those guys, you know, I call them the 1% of the 1%. What they actually do is they hold themselves to a higher standard and mainly in terms of emotions, also in terms of like their productivity and yeah. their activity and the quality of their activity. And then they go about executing it. So that means they do it every single day. There's no excuses. So I think that's the big thing. Set a standard that you're not going to have any more excuses. So whatever's happening in your psychology or in your mindset, just say, no, you know what? This is what I want to achieve and this is how I'm going to do it. Yeah. The other interesting thing is one of the high achievers, uh, Alexander Phillips, were having a chat and. Uh, one of the people in the audience came up to him at the end of his talk and sort of said to him, um, you know, do you find the market tightening up with listings and so forth? And he went, no, the market's really good. Yes. So one thing I found was his set of beliefs. Like he just that's believes it. the market's good. And that's you've got it. another person talking to him saying, are you finding the market really tight right now? Like there's not many listings. And he goes, the market's great. Like he found like this whole abundance of listings right there. But that's right standards. That's yeah. standards again to say, you know what, I'm not going to have an excuse. Yeah. Because there's always going to be some reason why we can't do something. So mm. what's good about him is he's like, he's not, I don't know, like I always talk about the shizzle. He's not buying into the shizzle. Yeah. He's buying into the stuff that actually makes a difference and he's holding a standard for himself. Absolutely. What's the fourth one? The fourth one that I've always seen. Oh God, I forgot the fourth one. No. Well, I've got one that I really loved. And okay, the thing me. that I saw was all about energy. Yes. Because he talked about, you know, your energy, let your energy introduce yourself. And I think this is the big thing. We've got to get away from pretending to feel a certain way. So yeah. get yourself into a good peak state, what I call a peak state, which is a really good emotional place, and then go about doing your business because we all know when people are faking it. And yeah. you know, this whole fake it to make it's kind of rubbish. Totally. It's about get into that really great feel good place and then go about taking your action and that's when you're going to get you know, your energy introduces yeah. you and that's where you get better results. Susie, it's all about vibration, it right? Is, like definitely. people feel it. Like and us. You know, yeah, that's yeah. it. Have we got the vibration? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Hope these couple of tips have helped you. There's certainly the four themes I found and Susie found yep. through the Super Achievers from Eric at this year. So if you liked this video, make sure you share it. And where can the guys find us? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And also too, stay tuned because we will be launching our Agent Republic podcast and we'll be coming to you live every morning at 5am 
um, on our Agent Republic Facebook page. Don't forget to be awesome.